18-year-old becomes the youngest person to sail around the world alone. Before we begin, do us a favour and click that like button. Also subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these inspiring stories every day. At 15 years old, Laura Decker is the youngest person to sail around the world alone. The young adventurer was practically born on a sailboat and her family encouraged her to take to the sea alone from a young age. On August 21, 2010, Decker set off on her prized 38-foot sailboat named Guppy to circumnavigate the globe. After one year and five months of near non-stop sailing, she'd accomplished the feat in record time. When Decker first announced her decision to sail around the world solo, the Dutch government became involved, going so far as to place Decker in shared parental custody with the Council of Child Care. Decker and her parents fought authorities, convincing them of her aptitude. Finally, she was allowed to set sail. Decker kept an incredible journal of her time at sea, and they offer incredible insight into the mind of this young, courageous woman on the adventure of a lifetime. Check out a few of her riveting entries. While I was running along by the remaining atolls, the wind slowly began to pick up to a speed. The waves got higher and higher, and even before I was passing the very last atoll, I had to put two reefs in the main and hoisted the storm jib. Everything that's still loose aboard is now lying on the boat's low side. It's dark, the sky is deeply clouded, while the water is heavily pouring over Guppy and me. I hope Mother Nature enjoyed that. Up to now, it looked like I could be arriving by day. But now that I'm going much faster, it could be that I'll be there by tomorrow evening. So Guppy and I are now discussing about whether we should sail through the reef passage near Papati by night. But right now, I just feel like catching up on some sleep. If only that big ship hadn't now appeared inside the radar's detection range. Anchors up and heading for Moria. First, I had to sail through a narrow passage between reefs and breaking waves very close to both sides. Then after three hours of great sailing, I again guided Guppy through another passage in the reefs. Gupp doesn't like sailing between all those breakers, but once she's quietly anchored across, she feels quite happy again. Moria is very beautiful too, and I will definitely go exploring tomorrow. I just met a family that's been traveling around the world by plane for more than one year now. And that includes four children, aged between 11 and 15 years old. When I told them about my trip, the kids felt like sailing around the world too. But the idea quickly faded when their parents explained that they would have to stay on the boat all the time, with no chance of escape from their brothers and sisters. We met aboard a boat whose owner is a French sailor who had participated in many races before and who's crossed the Atlantic Ocean on a Hobie Cat, an open catamaran 5 meters, 16 feet in length. This doesn't sound like music to my ear, especially after he showed us the movie that was made then, but he really loved it. There's even more wind today, so I quickly reefed the mainsail this morning. Dark clouds passed over me all day long, and in the afternoon a squall hit. A huge blast of wind and rain struck Guppy, so I took the helm to steer manually. The first squall was not over yet, that the next one was already coming, so in between I rapidly took down the mainsail. With only the mizzen and the storm jib up, I am still going at a speed of approximately 7 knots. The squall also came with lots of rain, but because of the waves splashing all over Guppy, the rain doesn't wash the salt off from Guppy nor me. Everything inside Guppy is now stowed away, seaworthy, ship shape. There's nothing flying around the boat, except for the Smarties that are now lying just about everywhere. Well, if this should be the worst. Over the course of her journey, Decker inspired countless people around the world to chase their dreams. Decker faced the great seas and all the dangers they contain for the chance of adventure. We should all take the lesson to heart. The world is filled with stories going viral every single day. But how many of these sites can you actually follow? We understand that your day should start with positive stories, stories that resonate with you. And so we started JoJo Stories. Our mission is to create meaningful stories that cover everything from animals to anthropology, history to environment and lifestyle. The kind of content you read on our site will be one you'll want to share with your family and friends. We hope you'll join our growing family and be part of our community. Welcome to JoJo Stories. JoJoStories.com